Hello, it's Sharon LaFlam from Creating Serenity Now. So we are going into part two. So if you didn't see last week, we were talking about how do you manage? How do you cope? What are your coping styles? And I gave out a number of ways that we unconsciously cope with the massive amounts of energy, trauma stored in our body because it's survival energy. We're in a afraid of dying usually happens really young. So it's stored, it's imprinted these into our cells and our nervous system works at like lightning speed, 500 miles an hour or something like that. I had done a video on it. Um, and so these patterns show up before we know it. But I wanna to talk to you today about the prodromal because how can I know that my coping pattern is going to happen before I'm triggered, before I cut myself, before I disassociate, before I throw up, before um, whatever patterns you have, before I take the drink, before I stuff my face full of food. That's the prodromal sign because it happens before the actual event. So imagine, um, so when you have an animal, right? If you have a cat, she circles around like three times and what is she gonna do? She's gonna lay down. That's the prodromal. That's the body sending the signal that we're gonna change and transition. So whenever your body is getting triggered, this is huge activation, the gas pedal to the floor, there's something that happens before that that alerts you, energy's rising. So when a dog is scratch, 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 scratching, it's making the bed, right? It's gonna lay down. That's the prodromal. So what is yours? So I have um, remembered a number of mine when I was young. Um, I'll bite my lip, bite my nails. Um, I still smell things, which is why I smell some vanilla, people. It changes your life. Smelling hair or fabrics. Isn't that a very infantile thing to do? But I'll catch myself smelling something. This is alerting me. This is the prodromal alert that I'm not attending to something is showing up and I'm, I don't, I haven't dealt with it yet. I haven't felt it. Um, rocking. Um, those are some of the things that I do. So you wanna know what are some of the things that you do? And this is gonna take a little investigative work, but you'd be curious of what shows up because there is an energy that arises when we fear our death. And this is again, this is the body doing its work interceptively. It's not a thought, but we can think about gee, what do I do? What shows up? A number of people um, when I was in school was said, gee, I come up with a plan. My brain starts working really hard. Um, and there's just so many things that you might recognize um, about you and your nervous system because that's what this journey is about. It's connecting you back to you. It's knowing that I can feel and be okay, right? And, and, and it's a journey of self-love. So I'm going to offer you these thoughts for the day and hope that it helps you and give a little thought to it. And I hope you'll consider liking, commenting, sharing the video, subscribing, and I hope you'll consider spending some time in gentle, loving, non-judgment, compassion for you and your body. So namaste.